Um, and Jen briefly, as we sort of discussed a bit, was when to consider treatment. Uh, as I also agree, very important that um, multidisciplinary team approaches is, is absolutely essential. Um, if one is going to consider, you know, systemic therapy with lymphatic um, here since it's a topic, um, but there should, you know, often be no recommended surgical radiation options. There should be clear evidence of increased tumor burden or acceleration of tumor growth, close proximity to vital organ structure. Also, I think if patient has multiple uh, areas of disease, if there is um, disease adjacent to a vital structure or organ, then we have to make sure there is no uh, evidence or no indication for more localized therapy for that one side of disease. Also, we you know, obviously symptoms attributed to recurrent metastatic disease. Clearly, we I think we all agree that we would like to in, intercede prior to development of symptoms. Um, and the important thing is that once we do initiate treatment with lumbatinib, uh, you know, it's expected that treatment will continue until progressive disease or intolerable side effects. And for most patients, quality of life in some or in sometimes many respects will decrease. So I think that's why it's really imperative that um, we do not start treatment prior to uh, it's necessary. And I, you know, many times I, I do see patients where I really have to sort of push back a little bit about treatment just for these reasons. It's, you know, once you start, it doesn't stop. 